You can tell a lot about people by who they surround themselves with. And Matt and Emma not only had a lot of friends, but they had friends from all over the country. This was a special couple, and you could see it in how their friends thought of it. Matt and Emma, really, they come from the same culture that I participate and live in, the Northwest, and they feel like my people. So it felt like I'd already met them before. I mean, is there a way to have a second loft? Uh, I mean, you know, we need to have other people sleep here. Going tiny doesn't mean that you can't entertain. And we've done a lot of entertaining spaces. We've never had to do entertaining spaces that also had to sleep all those people. I mean, essentially, we did a, a, a tiny bed and breakfast. That wasn't easy. The inspector stopped in this morning, and we got the permit for the second loft. Yeah. Uh, the bad news is that he noticed that we don't have access to the crawl space beneath the house. This is where all of the electrical, plumbing, you need to be able to have access to all of that. Taking what would be a problem and turning that into an opportunity to, to shine is one of Zach's best qualities. And I mean, he did that with a giant hole in the middle of our kitchen floor. He's like, oh, no problem. I'm gonna turn that into wine storage. And he did it in a very cool way. The wine storage was really just a mistake that we kind of tried to cover up and say that, you know, we intended on doing it. And hopefully, you know, he was elegant enough, enough of a conversation piece that it might have pulled it off. The big project for that one was my table. One, two, three. What I don't think enough people understand is that when Zach does some of these builds, like the table, it's something that he's never done before. These are all completely original, and he's doing them for the first time. So we don't know if they're going to work or how they're going to work. The whole process of lifting this massive construction up into the sky and dangling it above people's heads for the lifetime of the whole table is a little daunting. I definitely feel like we did it sufficiently. Oh, she does have another roommate. I didn't yeah. know. I never had a puppy in a tiny house before. And Griffey, she was a rambunctious little puppy. That was fun, but it was also a challenge. Look at how excited she is. <laughs> yeah, Griffey, she's got a dog area. It's got some toys, bowls, water, pretty much everything a dog really wants. So I think Griffey's doing great. <laughs> that was our final test. Griffey approval. So the only thing left to do at this point, guys, is officially welcome you to the tiny house community. Awesome. Congratulations, you got a tiny home. <laughs>